Our next topic in chemistry here is the conversion of units. And yes, there's a special technique that we use to convert from one type of unit to another unit. For example, if you want to convert 12.8 liters to milliliters, how do you do that? And the best way to do that is simply to write down the, the, no the number you started with or the unit we started with. So we have 12.8 liters. And then we're going to multiply that times a ratio. Now, what goes on the top is the unit that we want to get to. We want to get to milliliters, so we're going to place that in the top. And then in the bottom, you're going to place the unit that you're trying to get rid of. And in that case, that's liters. Notice then, when you multiply this times whatever this fr fraction is, liters will cancel out, and you'll end up with just units of milliliters. Now, the next thing to do is to put in the ratio of what that, ra of what that really is, that conversion is. Now, we should realize that one liter is equivalent to 1,000 milliliters. So there's our conversion. Liters cancel out, and therefore this is equal to 12,800 milliliters. Now, since we started out with three significant figures, we should not have more than three significant figures here. So the proper way of writing that would be 1.28 times 10 to the fourth milliliters. And that's how we convert from liters to milliliters. How about from pounds to grams? And of course, remember, pounds is weight, grams is mass. We normally couldn't convert, but we talk about gram mass, so the mass equivalent of 4.6 pounds. So again, what we do here is we put down 4.6 pounds, and now we're going to multiply the times the ratio. We want here what we want to get to, which is grams, and at the bottom what we want to get rid of, which is pounds. Again, remember, grams is mass, pounds is weight, but it's this mass weight equivalent. One pound, 453.6 grams. Now we go ahead and we can convert. So 4.6 times 453.6 equals, that would be 2,086.56. Of course, pounds cancels out, we're left with grams, but again, that's way too many significant figures. We only started out with two significant figures here, so we should have a, an answer with just two significant figures. So this would be equal to 2.1 times 10 to the third grams, appropriately converted. All right, now let's go from milliliters to cubic meters. So here we may want to go through two steps. Let me show you. Start out with 45 milliliters. The first thing we're going to do is convert it from milliliters to liters. So we want liters at the top, milliliters at the bottom, so milliliters will cancel out, and again, the ratio is one liter is a thousand milliliters. But of course, we didn't want liters, we wanted cubic meters, so now we have a second ratio where we convert from liters to cubic meters. Since we want cubic meters, that goes on the top, liters, we want to get rid of that, so that goes on the bottom, and one cubic meter is a thousand liters, and that's how we convert from one to the other. Now notice, milliliters will cancel out, liters will cancel out, and we're left with cubic meters, and so 45 divided by that, that will equal to 4.5 times 10 to the minus 5, and of course that would be cubic meters, that would be the proper way of writing that. Next one, let's convert 12 AMU to kilograms. Hmm, how do we do that? Well again, let's write down 12 AMUs, and the first thing we're going to do is convert it from AMUs to grams. So we want grams at the top and AMUs at the bottom. So what is the conversion ratio? Well, it turns out that one gram is equivalent to Avogadro's number of AMUs. So this is one divided by Avogadro's number. And then we multiply that times the ratio to go from grams to kilograms. So we want kilograms at the top, grams at the bottom. One kilogram is a thousand grams. So now, what is this Avogadro's number? Well, let's write it again. We have 12 AMUs times the ratio. I'm going to leave me a little bit more room because Avogadro's number is a very big number. So one gram divided by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. Uh, that is Avogadro's number times AMUs. So one gram is this many AMUs. So Avogadro's number is really the ratio between grams and AMUs, both are units of mass. And of course, we still need the second conversion where we go from kilograms to grams, and one kilogram is a thousand grams. And so now we can go ahead and do that conversion. So we have 12 
divided by 6.022 e to the 23rd, and then divide by 1,000 equals, and it looks like this gives us 1.99 times 10 to the minus 26, and that, would, of course, would be kilograms. Now, remember, 12 amus was the exact mass of a single carbon atom, a carbon-12 atom, which means that a carbon-12 atom has a mass of 1.99 times 10 to the minus 26 kilograms. At least what I've tried to show you here is how to convert units. Again, it's fairly simple. You just write down what you started with, and then you want to write down a conversion fraction, a ratio, a ratio of the unit you have that you want to get rid of to the unit that you want to go to. Sometimes you have to do it in multiple steps. Sometimes you can do it in a single step. And then you put down numbers that represent the ratio between those two. And so you can see that's not too difficult if you follow that technique.